Ah, oh, there you are. Someone has once said that if you have a difficult task, then give it to the lazy person, because this person will find the e most easiest way to solve the issue. In this story, I'm the lazy person, and therefore today I'm going to give you a bunch of cool WordPress-related productivity hacks. So, if you're interested, then jump in. Now I'm going to show some apps I'm using while creating WordPress sites, and I'm going to show you some plugins, and I'm going to show you some Chrome extensions that may be useful for you. And let's start with a local app. This one here allows me to create my sites in my computer. So as you see, I have a bunch of sites here. I can test different PHP versions, web server versions. I can open up database tables like MySQL and do all the related stuff here. And also under the tools, I have cloud backups, that means I can back up this site to the cloud, for example, Google Drive. Also, Mailhog is a tool that allows me to test all the emails that are sent from my site. What I tend to do is that I'm going to create a one site, which is empty one. I'm going to set everything up. For example, I'm going to disable all the widgets I'm not going to use. I'm going to install all the plugins I'm going to need for most of my sites. Then I'm going to tweak all other settings. And if it's done, then next time, if I have to create a new site, I'm just going to right click on this site, click on clone site, give it the title and press on clone site button. This saves me a bunch of time because I don't have to install all the plugins all the time, tweak the settings and so on. Local is a free app and it's available for Mac, also for Mac with silicon chip. It's available for Windows and for Linux, and it's an awesome tool. Next tool is called Sizi, and I'm using it for testing how my site is looking using the different devices. For example, if I open it up, I can test my site on iPhone 8, iPhone 11, iPad, MacBook Air, laptop, and so on. And if I scroll, you'll see that every device is scrolling all together. If I open something up, for example, this product, then every device does it. I can choose what devices to use. There are a bunch of those, Pixel 5, iPhone S, Galaxy S9, and so on and so forth. A bunch of different revolutions, even iMac Retina 27 inch. And this tool saves me a bunch of time when I'm testing how responsive my site is and what is there to fix. It's a premium tool. You can test it out for 14 days for free. And then it's 12 bucks a month. If you pay annually and if you pay monthly, then it's 15 bucks a month. Yes, you can say that, well, but I can do that also by using the browser inspector. Yes, of course, I can do that also. But as I said, I'm the lazy one here and this allows me to be lazy. What else it can do for me? I can record the video for this device. I can take screenshots with or without frame, for example, if I take a screenshot and open it up, you'll see it's here. I can send those to my clients to demonstrate how this or that is looking on the different devices. So this was CC, which means it's time to move to the next tool. When my site is ready in my computer and I need to push it to the web server, then I'm using the plugin called WP Vivid. This one here. As you see, more than 200,000 active installations, mostly five-star reviews. And this is my code to plugin when I need to migrate my site, back up my site, or make a staging site from my current one. This plugin has two versions, free version and the pro version, and I have made a thorough tutorial on how to use it. So if you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to it. There is also a link to the pro version with a nice 20% discount coupon for you. And this coupon is working both for yearly and lifetime licenses. So follow the link and use a coupon. But what I'm using it for is backing up my site. It's easy to do. Just click on backup now button, choose whether to back up files and database, only files or only database. And if I need to migrate my local site to the web, then I'm going to use the auto migration tool here. Once again, it's really easy. You will install the plugin to the both sites. 
first from the destination site you'll get a key generate it on your local site paste it here click on save then press and clone then transfer and depending on your site size it may take a couple of minutes next you're gonna go to the backup and restore and press on the restore button really easy awesome tool which will save you hours of work next tool is called image optim which allows you to compress your images without losing the quality unfortunately it's only for mac so if you're using windows then take a look at other tools which will do the similar work but for mac it's working really well i'm gonna demonstrate it i have a bunch of images here as you see every one of those are really big i'm gonna select the images right click services image optimize and within a couple of seconds it will compress the images and you'll see how much space you will save under the settings you can set up the quality of the images optimization level and whether to strip the metadata and so on it's a free tool which i basically use every day not only for my wordpress sites but also for images that i need to send using email and so on next tool is also only for macs it's a built-in tool you don't need to install anything if you're a mac user and you need to convert this image to some other format then right click on it select quick actions convert image and you can choose a format whether it's jpeg png or hafe let's choose png image size i'm gonna choose actual size whether to preserve the metadata or not and convert to png with a couple of seconds it's done now you may ask why would you do that well if you have a png file that is 8.9 megabytes and there is a jpeg file for the same image that is less than one megabyte then it's clearly visible when you need to sometime convert the images now since we're already messing with the images then let's take a look at another tool this one is called xn convert and it allows you to convert your images in bulk it's available for windows for mac and for linux and once again this is a tool that will save you a lot of time so let's test it out i'm gonna open up xn convert i'm gonna add images here those are the same images i added here yeah under the actions i'm gonna resize it in a way that width is always 1024 pixels I can set a bunch of all other options here but to keep it short i'm gonna just show you how to resize those images under the output i can choose the image format i need those images to be converted but i'm gonna leave it as it is although this png image will be converted to the jpeg whether to preserve the metadata delete the original you'll see all other options here i'm gonna choose the output folder open it up and press on convert button and when i open it up you'll see those are my images smaller ones and also they are optimized it's a good tool which is fairly easy to use now it's time to move to the next tool and this tool is called clean shot it's a screen capture tool I can capture some area, previous area, full screen, window, scrolling capture, self timer, I can record the screen and so on and so forth. So let's test it out. I'm going to press on command shift 4, which is a default shortcut in Mac for taking the screenshots. I'm going to select the area. Now I can annotate it with arrows, with steps. in a really easy and intuitive way when it's done i can save it or upload to the cloud when it's uploaded then the link is automatically copied to the clipboard i can paste it here and see my image here i can also log into my cloud tag the images which means i can organize them in folders and so on
It's a really nifty tool, but it's not a free tool. It's a one-time payment for $29, which will give you the app and basic cloud with a one gigabyte of storage. If you would like to renew it, then it's $19 per year. I use it basically every day because I need to make the tutorials for my customers or for my website. And by using this tool, I save a lot of time. Next tool is called Dropover and it's once again only for Macs, so Windows users, sorry for that. It allows me to grab the images from the website in an easy way. If you are a regular user, then you need to make a right click, then choose save image. But with the Dropover, I can take the image, shake it, drag it here, open up my site, for example this one here. And if I need to add this one to my site, I'll just drop it here, update my gallery, and the image has been uploaded. And this way I can save a couple of clicks, real time saver. As with a previous app, Dropover is also not free, but it costs you $9 or so. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, but it's affordable and it's a one time payment. Now we have finished with apps, which means let's take a look at the Chrome extensions I use daily. First of those is called Colorzilla, and it allows me to pick the colors from the page, for example. This one here, as you see, it will give me the color code. It has color picker, resample the last location, palette browser, this one here. But mainly I use it for picking colors from the page, for example, if I would like to know what is the color use here, I just click here, the color is copied to the clipboard, and I can paste it everywhere. This is Colorzilla. Next one is CSS Paper, which I also use daily. It's here, if I open it up, and I click here, I can see what is the font used here, padding, size, all the stuff, I can see the colors used on the site. If I click on the image, I can export the image. As you see, this is a selector here, but if I go back here, I can see all the colors used on the site and I can see all the images used on the site and if needed, I can export them one by one. Really nifty tool. Next extension I use a lot is called Image Downloader. For example, if I'm on this site here and click on Image Downloader extension, then once again it displays me all the images that are added to the site and I can download them either one by one or I can select them all and download all them once. So it's your own preference whether to use Image Downloader or CSS Paper. Next extension is called Performance Analyzer and probably this one here is gonna be one of the, your favorite extensions. So let's take a look what it allows us to do. I'm gonna go to my dashboard, open it up, and if I click on the Performance Analyzer here, it says that this site has 130 requests, total loading time is 1.8 seconds, time to first byte, and so on. You can see the timing and see what is taking the time here. This way you can measure your website speed, and not only for front end, but also for the back end. You'll see what files are loaded, how much time it will take, and this tool allows you to speed up your site if you know how to use it. Let's take a look at the front end here. Once again, performance analyzer, one second, 117 requests, time to first byte, and so on and so forth. I really like this extension. And now it's time to take a look at the last extension I use frequently, and this is a lorem ipsum generator. Now you may ask, but what can I do for with it? Well, I use it for my videos, I use it to add dummy content on the site. If I open it up, I can choose how many paragraphs are created, for example, three, or how many words, how many bytes, how many lists. Let's take a look at the paragraphs. I can copy and paste it here, and there's my dummy text. Now let's add a list here. Once again, copy, paste it here. Yes, I understand that this extension 
is not for everyone, but if you need to add a dummy text on your sites, then this is a nifty tool. And those were my productivity hacks I wanted to show you today. There are a bunch of other tools I use, but these are the ones I use most frequently. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.